Marita. Thank you so much for tuning in. In today's video, I want to give you five tips to have the best experience during your Vipassana silence meditation retreat, especially if you are brand new and you are first time attending this retreat. So these five tips is going to basically help you to get the best out of this retreat. So let's make this happen. So tip number one is really to commit. Commit to yourself that you're going to stay the entire time because believe it or not, there are people who come there, but then they decide to quit in the middle of the retreat because like you probably heard, it's not easy to sit in silence for so many hours, but trust me, you're going to experience the benefits at the end and that it's going to be worth it. So really commit that you're going to stay during the entire period of 10 days. You're not going to quit. You're not going to leave. And that goes to tip number two, follow the rules follow the rules. It's so important to follow the rules because there is a reason why there is the schedule the way it is that you're going to wake up 4.30 in the morning and you go to bed 9, 9.30 p.m. There is a reason you don't have dinner instead of that. You have fruits or tea. There is a reason behind all these rules during this retreat. So I highly suggest that you follow these rules and really do the best as you can because it's going to help you to really, really go deeper and it's going to help you to experience the benefits of Vipassana when you get out. Now, tip number three is very important tip, I think. Don't compare yourself with other people. This is huge, especially if you are new to Vipassana, you never meditated before, especially this technique, and you are brand new. You know, if you compare yourself with older students who are sitting in silence without moving, you know, it's gonna be kind of hard for you because every time we do compare ourselves with other people, especially during this retreat, you're gonna feel like a failure, right? And that's not true because just because you already there, you decided to go for Vipassana, you decided to sit in silence, that already makes you a hero, at least hero in your life, right? Hero of your own life, of your own story. So give yourself credit and be patient with yourself. Every time you have the thoughts that are coming up, you go back to that rules, the technique they are teaching you and just follow the technique. Don't beat yourself up and don't compare yourself with older students because Tell you the truth, you know, it took me four vipassanas to be able to master sitting in silence for one hour straight up. And you know, day four, they're going to teach you how to sit in silence for one hour without moving and how to meditate actual vipassana technique. Um, and so some people, you know, they take time to, to master this, you know, so if you know, you're not going to master it right away. It's okay. So just be patient with yourself, follow the rules, follow the technique and don't compare yourself with other people. Now, tip number four is to, even though you have thoughts, go back to the technique and follow the technique. So what do I mean by that? Uh, if you meditate, um, already, you probably know that even if you are practicing meditation, you still have some thoughts and that's perfectly okay. We do have thoughts coming up and these thoughts are going to be there. Even though you are sitting in silence for eight days, nine days, you're still going to have thoughts. Don't be, beat yourself up for having thoughts. This is something that I realized myself and it's very important for you to, every time you have occurring thoughts, just go back gently and follow the technique and practice Vipassana. That's why it's called practice Vipassana because it's literally practicing Vipassana, right? And number five is to even get, when you get out of Vipassana, I would suggest that you continue with the technique because you don't go to Vipassana to experience another trip, right? To experience, um, something um, so you can check on your to-do list I've done Vipassana, right? You go to Vipassana to experience the benefits and I highly recommend that you continue with your practice even after Vipassana because it is going to serve you big time. So definitely continue with your practice. It is going to serve you and 
yeah, I hope you're gonna enjoy because this is a very unique experience. It's definitely one of those life-changing experiences where you get to know who you are, you get to know your mind, you get to know uh, the truth of the matter, literally, through your body, through the sensations. And yeah, if you want to learn more about my experience, maybe you want to check out my other videos where I describe my fourth Vipassana experience. And also stay tuned for the next video where I'm going to talk about how to start meditation for beginners. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe if you are new and make sure to hit the bell notification button to be notified every time I release new content. And I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.